Hi guys, this is EBP Man with Tablets for Me, and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of a multi-port car charger for all your electronic devices. And this charger is brought to us by Chotec. Inside the box you'll find your micro USB charging cable, a instruction guide, and the car charger itself. Let's take a closer look at the charger. So taking a closer look at the car charger, one of the things I wanted to highlight is that this charger supports quick charging technology. And if you notice, it says Quick Charger 2.0. So for those of you who are not familiar with it, this is technology that allows your phone to charge rapidly. Uh, the Galaxy Note 4 and the Nexus 6 have this technology. And most other phones, uh, the newer phones that will be coming on the market, will all support this quick charger technology. It literally means that your phone will charge at a faster rate than ever before. And you can see this if we flip the extra charger over. And we'll try to make sure we stays, that this uh, area here stays in focus. You'll notice that the charger, unlike other chargers, has multiple... Um, uh, outputs uh, ratings and that's because uh, this charger has one port that is dedicated to the uh, quick charging technology 2.0 or a fast charger the other three are standard charging ports but that doesn't mean that it's going to charge significantly slower it just means that those ports really don't support that rapid charging technology and most likely um, if you have phones that don't support it you'll be able to plug uh, into those ports without any issue now let's take a closer look at the actual USB charging ports. Noticing at starting with the very top, you have the first charging port has a blue highlight around it. This is your adaptive uh, fast charging 2.0 charging port. This is what you'll want to connect your Note 4 or your Nexus 6 device to. Keep in mind, you can plug those devices to any of these ports, but if you want to have adaptive fast charging, that's the port that you want to plug into. Now the other ports that are also available feature adaptive or intelligent charging. So regardless of your device, if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, and or the Android phones require different amperages for charging, this charger is going to intelligently adapt to that specific device and provide the right amperage so you don't have to worry about which one you plug it into. In my case, since I have a, uh, a Note 4 and an Nexus 6, I'd uh, actually plug it in the blue and maintain it in that area. And my, the rest of my family that has uh, maybe uh, an S5 or, or an iPad or iPhone would use the other ports. Let's take a look at what this device looks like when it's plugged in and powered up. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to test the car charger. And I'm going to show you how we can charge the latest iPad. Uh, this happens to be a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 a Note 4. Uh, we'll also use uh, what I have here is a LG G3 and then the latest iPhone 6. And we're going to charge them all simultaneously. Um, well, as many as the device will allow. So we'll be able to charge four of these di devices simultaneously. But I want to show you how flexible it is and how you can virtually charge almost any product that's available on the market today. Let's take a closer look. So here I have my four uh, USB cables charged or plugged into the actual charger. Uh, one of them happens to be an iPhone charger, and the other three are micro USB. With the exception of this one right here, I chose to use a, um, a glowing uh, micro USB cable to illustrate the fast charging technology. Again, this has nothing to do with the fast charger, but just so that I can tell which cable is the fast charging cable. So I'm going to set the actual charger now aside, and we'll plug in the actual devices so you can see all, how it can support all of them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in our iPhone. So uh, this iPhone is completely depleted, so I'm just going to plug it in, and then you'll see how it will come to life. So it's charging. Uh, because it's dead, I'm going to switch from the iPhone to the actual iPad, and we'll leave the iPad plugged in, so I'm going to remove it. And now I'm going to go to the actual iPad, which we have here in the bottom. And what we're looking for is, again, that little symbol that pops up showing that it's actually charging. So I'm going to plug it in. And you'll notice that this iPad happens to be charged, but it went into the charging mode. And you'll notice that I have the little charging symbol there. We're going to leave this here. So that one is plugged in, and that's working. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go for my Tab S. And we'll, you'll notice that it does require some charging. It's at 50%. I'm going to grab uh, the other USB cable that we have here. So we have many of them. Let me make sure we don't tangle this up. And I'm going to now take that USB cable and plug it in on the bottom. When I plug it in, 
you notice it turned on and we have the little charging symbol right there. So now this is the next device that's charging. So now I have two tablets charging. I'll just close this up, put it right in here. Two tablets charging right here in the corner. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on a phone. So here I have my LG G3. I'm going to grab my other USB cable and I'm going to plug that into my device. So I'm going to plug that in right there. Make sure that that's facing the right way. And this is now charging as well. So that is now one, two, three devices, two tablets, and one phone. Now the next and last piece of our demonstration is going to be a phone that supports fast charging technology. So this is my Note 4. Now, what you'll notice, and I've shown this in other videos, you'll notice a little message will come up on the screen indicating that fast charging has been enabled. That's something that you'll we'll see on the top. So I want you to focus up here as I um, as I plug in the actual cable. I'm gonna put this on camera so you can see it. But just look at the top how the actual message will come up once we plug it in. I plug it in. Okay, that's plugged in. You'll notice adaptive fast charging is enabled and now it's charging. So what I have, again, from one car charger, I have a Galaxy Note 4 that is using fast charging technology, which means it's going to charge faster than it would be plugged into a normal uh, plug. I have my LG G3 also charging. I have my Tab S, and I have an iPad. Very powerful charger, very flexible, and I really love the fact that it's an intelligent charger that regardless of the device that you plug in, it's going to know what kind of amperage to provide. And then also the fact that um, it has multiple ports. Uh, so that's a great thing, especially for those of you who use your car as your office or those of you who have a lot of children or at least two children and have many devices that you have to charge when you're on the go. Now this concludes our review of the Chotec uh, multi-port USB car charger, again delivering 51 watts uh, of power to all your device or power hungry devices. Again, uh, great product given the fact that it supports quick charging technology as I showed you in that auto detect technology or the intelligent charging technology for all your ports. I uh, want to thank Chotec for making this device available to us for review on this channel. If you have any comments or questions about the product, please leave it on the channel and I'll respond. I'll also include the link to the product so you can find this on Amazon. It's available in two colors, and I think it's a great product for those of you who have multiple devices, especially those devices that require quick charging. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.